Hi, I'm Pete, and here we are in the new Puzzletorium. It's all set up, and uh, I'm really pleased with uh, with how things turned out. I got my bookcases. Uh, you can see one behind me already filled with some of the puzzles uh, that I've already unpacked on the last video, and just uh, as I was kind of pulling pulling things uh, out of boxes. And then the other one is just off camera here. So the last time uh, we were here, I talked about uh, opening some of these, some more of these boxes on camera because I haven't unpacked any of those original uh, boxes where I brought my entire puzzle collection, um, mainly because I, I just didn't have space. I didn't have uh, room to put things uh, and uh, I didn't have all my bins. So I brought all the puzzles the last time, but in this most recent trip, I bought all, brought all my plastic bins and those are just a few of them. I, I really have a lot, a very large number of bins. Um, so that's that's the setup. That's the puzzle torium. Um, I uh, in the pipeline. There's definitely going to be a tutorial for a puzzle. I've wanted to <laughs> before uh, things ran off the rails last spring. I really wanted to. Uh, I was working on a tutorial. All right, uh, the last time uh, I was on here, I did talk about opening up some more of these boxes just to show you what's in there and to kind of show you my method for packing things. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's just start opening these boxes up. And there's there's no there's no delicate way to do this. So I'm just gonna grab my knife here. Uh, okay, and this is box uh, C. And I do have a list of, of what's supposed to be in it, I think, somewhere here. Uh, yeah, some, some pretty good stuff. My VTI, which is big. Uh, and then a couple of perplexes. I can hear them. There's some of the mini perplexes puzzles. So it'll be nice to find a spot for all of these, probably up top, uh, where I can display them all, all kind of together. And I don't need a ladder to get them. Okay, this is great. So... Whoop. Oop. Okay, well that, that's that's not good. Alright, I think that'll be... Alright, here we go. So this is box C and again this was I packed these months ago. <laughs> so uh, and I was pretty pretty big of a rush to get all this stuff. So some some of the local newspaper here. Uh, and uh, Okay, oh, this is very, very cool. Okay, so, and then some birthday uh, wrapping just. So this is uh, one of the Perplexus Spirals still in its box. So uh, I, I have some stands that I can put those on. So that'll be a little, little easier to work with. And another one of the Perplexus, little mini Perplexus. This is the Go. Okay, uh, yeah, those are gonna be fun. I, as you see, they're they're still in the box. I actually have my Perplexus portal still in the box here. I got that uh, uh, months ago in Winnipeg, and uh, it just kind of shows you um, moving. <laughs> it takes a lot of time. Uh, it takes up all your spare time. Okay, another Perplexus. Don't worry, it's not all Perplexus. Now, I've been been kind of yeah. This is a perplexus spiral, I believe. Spiral? Uh, no, it can't be spiral. It's, it's uh, okay. It should be almost maybe one more perplexus. This is the stairs. Yeah, I remember this one for sure. No, this is the other one with stairs. Okay. I don't. Oh, this is the cups one. Oh yeah, this is very fun. I've actually managed to play with this. <laughs> All the little, little cups and, and stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to put these off to the side here. There we go. All right, now we have some puzzles here. Um, so this is uh, one of the... Uh, this very fun uh, Diane Axis puzzle. I'm pretty sure I did a tutorial. Oops, a tutorial on this. If I didn't, if it wasn't this one, it was one that was kind of in the same, uh, same configuration. Yeah, this was this was really 
really cool. So, nice. Uh, okay, I, I have a cat. It's odd shaped, odd shaped mods? Odd shaped shape mods. <laughs> uh, even, uh, boy, oh boy. Okay. So, oh yeah, so this is like, um, oh, this is a Tony Fisher um, wall cube, something like that. Uh, uh, but yeah, just, just a kind of a fun, fun kind of thing where you have to, you kind of have to turn it to, to move it. It's okay. Great. Oh, this is, it's, this is like Christmas, really. It's like getting a box from overseas because I haven't seen these puzzles in so long. And even like, even though I packed them, I hadn't seen all, some of them in a while. Right, because they just because of the, the way that things things were packed away in my tiny space, I've got literally twice as much space here uh, as I did before. And of course, it's it's been been carefully designed so that I can have some room for my puzzles. There we go. This is another kind of sheet mod. Ah, oh, be be worth revisiting all of these. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is this is an example of of where I had uh, puzzles. They were obviously organized uh, and and grouped together, so they probably came out of one bin. Okay, I am saving all these. These uh, we're going to recycle the paper and save the bags. We use them. Okay. Oh wow, this is very cool. Is this a wheel of wisdom? Yeah, looks like a wheel of wisdom. Ah, this is a very, very fun uh, puzzle. Nice stickering. And uh, yeah, so this is a Diane wheel of wisdom. Very, very cool. Okay, let's just start. <laughs> okay, which means that if uh, I think that that means that my smash time machine is nearby. It's got to definitely be in this batch somewhere okay so another okay this is very very cool some kind of axis puzzle ah uh, looks yeah i know i've done a tutorial on some of these all right okay that uh there's a big puzzle in the middle of this Okay, this, uh, one of the evil eye puzzles. I remember these. I've done at least a solve on this on my channel. Yeah, this is, this is really, really cool. It has the, basically exposes the center and then, and then you do the, the sort of, you can solve the, the centers and you solve the outer shell. Okay. Those types of puzzles are great for learning really how puzzles work how the mechanisms work this is the twin uh they were selling the the uh black body and the white body kind of twins oh boy wow this is <laughs> i mean okay I, I i wrote down knobby cube or something, I'm not really sure. Look at this, I mean, this is just, I mean, how much fun would this be, right? Okay, this is this is cool. This is the problem with packing and with uh, unboxing stuff like this, because now <laughs> I just wanna play with all these things, right? <laughs> this is, and that was, that was really hard when I was packing too, because I was so busy, so, so rushed had to really just kind of compartmentalize oh and now it looks like we have a uh, oh this is so so cool all right okay knobby puzzle i think that's what i called it look at that some really good puzzles there uh for for a while uh coming out okay i don't i don't want to stack that puzzle so i'll just kind of put that there uh yeah so uh, Every once in a while, you get uh, 
you know, period of time where there's a lot of cool new puzzles coming out. Okay, there's my Smash Time Machine. Man, uh, I tell ya, this, really, really enjoyed this puzzle. I have a tutorial on it, uh, and uh, especially, um, you know, most of the puzzle is pretty straightforward, um, but uh, it has some parodies, right? And so I have some, uh, I, I know that my my tutorial covers a parody on it. This is just a, just a fantastic puzzle. And I remember we had to uh, do the stickering. It was a DIY sticker. So all that stickering I had to do myself. And that was a lot of work, but what a beautiful puzzle. Okay. Let's, let's set it all up that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's like... Okay, another Axis Cube. Yeah, it really... Or, well, you know, I say Axis Cube. It, it looks like an Axis Cube, right? It may not necessarily be... could just be a sheet mod of something else. Wow, I really need to get uh, get reacquainted with these. Yeah, so there's, there's some cuts that... Some cuts that don't even work until you get... Until you get a little further along here. Wow, yeah. Okay. Time to go on a, on one of these uh, Axis Cube benders again. Okay, we're getting there. Um, so what's what's happening is that there's, there's a whole bunch of puzzles, small puzzles around this big central puzzle, which I know is my... Uh, is the VTI. Okay, so another one, another axis. Yeah, so these all came from one one particular bin. Um, yeah. Sort of offset puzzle. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, okay, so this is from uh, this was from Zone. Den, I think from Zone Den, they were uh, making these. They were kind of like the, uh, they were, yeah. It's yeah. I remember these. Not super hard puzzle, just just kind of fun, fun to to play. Pretty, pretty heavy, stout puzzle. Huh. There we go. Whoop. Okay. Ooh, very heavy puzzle. Oh, okay. So one of the... So one of the old MF8 dodecahedrons. And is this the... Is this the... Oh, okay. oh, this is the uh, deep cut star mix. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty sure I have a tutorial on this one. Uh, this is this is a great puzzle. There's some lots of algorithms, and it's a deep cut puzzle. Meaning, when you make a mistake, <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty well game over. Um, yeah, it uh, it's a fun puzzle, but yeah, you gotta gotta be uh, fully engaged when you're solving it. You can't be. And uh, I wonder if I. Hmm. Okay, I don't see because normally it's also the the other uh, star makes as well. Oh, very nice little um, oh, it's a diamond shaped uh, sheet mod, three by three sheet mod in the diamond shape. Uh, this is fun. That's very just just a fun little puzzle, but some some interesting interesting solving. Okay. And then this is not the same. This is a, is this a four layer version of this? Yeah, it could be a four layer version of that other puzzle. 
Um, I remember getting one of these. It might have been this one. Um, and getting it from a little uh, puzzle shop, uh, American-based puzzle shop. And it was it was sent in a um, padded envelope. And at least one of them. Anyway, something was broken on one of these. I had to, had to glue it back. I just remember that. The cool thing. Anyway, it works fine. One of the very few puzzles that's been damaged in, in shipping. In... Okay, and then this is the other one. Ah, I wish I could remember the, the name of these. They were just... Anyway, just uh, just basically... Uh, pretty much a 3x3. Three three. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit... Bit more, but anyway, just a nice little sheet mod. Okay, getting to some. Oh, my uh, crazy four by four. That is that is uh, Diana NMF eight. Yeah, oh, this is just a fantastic puzzle all sorts of fun algorithms to learn on it um and this was a little bit before the crazy three by three phase uh craze <laughs> that we all we all experienced there a few years ago uh, ouch crazy puzzles okay and here was the other the other version of it Only available in white body. I don't know if they ever made this in, in a black body. So it looks very similar, and it is, but there's uh, there's some... Just the circle is, is different. The circles have different coverage. That's it. Okay. Slightly different solving experience. Okay, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I was uh, collecting uh, stickered black body puzzles for the longest time and then I just kind of uh, some of the newer uh, more vibrant uh, color plastic uh, so I kind of like those I mean, and really you know we'll get those now if I can little house Diane house puzzle uh, no it's not a Diane house sorry this is Calvin's uh, house puzzle I was thinking of the Bermuda puzzles, but yeah, this is a Calvin's version of it. It's just a shape mod of the 3x3, three three, but it, it is so cool. It's so fun to solve something like this. Okay, almost to the end of this box here. Uh, uh, well, the octahedrons. Okay, face turning. Uh, no, nope, vertex turning octahedron. <laughs> A little bit of spring noise. Ooh, that's bad. I might have to adjust that. All right, there we go. Okay, one more small one. Really small one. Oh, okay, this is the... Not uh, not the UFO cube, because that, that has a different set up but yeah just so this is going to be this is going to be a little harder to solve because you have um the same color pieces around here so just a just a cool little puzzle <laughs> odd odd shaped shape mods that's it okay and last but not least this one and uh this is one of my favorite puzzles. This is the uh, Void Trunca Truncated Icosa Dodecahedron VTI, and uh, these are t these are ten sided faces. Um, we have uh, six sided faces and we have four sided faces, and uh, that's um, it's one of the early very puzzle puzzles. And uh, these stickers I got from uh, Oliver's stickers a long time ago. Of course, this, this, this disco, disco stickers. <laughs> uh, 
all over it. Um, so yeah, so there were different uh, colors for the uh, the ten um, sided uh, faces, and it just gives it a very very distinctive look. I, you know, is it, you know, yeah, I, I like it anyway. Um, so yeah, this is this is just uh, this is a great puzzle. I just I love uh, solving this one. Um, I see it might need a bit more lube. It's a little stiffer. It just might needs to be. Uh, taken out for a play. I'm pretty sure I've solved this one on my channel before. Um, so anyway, Void Truncated Icosidota Kahira. Look at that. That is the end of uh, that box. So I did say I was going to open another box, so I guess we can try it. Uh, this is box I over here, and there's some really good stuff in there. And I might have some better notes. Probably not, though. Um... Oh yeah, so these are, whoa, okay, yeah, so uh, give me a moment here, I'm going to move some stuff off to the side, and then we'll get the other box. All right, we're back, I made a little bit of room, and I have box I, uh, so I'm just going to open this, this is very heavy, and um, yeah, I was a little further into my puzzle packing, and uh I was at first trying not to pack the puzzles too tight, um, but then eventually realized I was going to run out of boxes and I was going to run out of room to bring all these as so I tried to do it all in one trip. Okay, so put that knife away before somebody gets hurt. And here we go. This is the second box. Okay. And as usual, it's a lot of little puzzles around uh, some big puzzles. And there's actually a few big puzzles. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, wow. Okay, so some of the mix-up puzzles. I uh, actually saw a new mix-up puzzle go by on uh, on uh, one of the puzzle shops recently. And um, that might inspire me to make an order. Uh, because the last time I, I went, I looked around, I didn't see anything that really grabbed my eye maybe one like one of the there's a new gem puzzle diane gem puzzle but okay now i'm not sure why i did this oh okay because it just barely can fit in that bag that's why i did that okay well, well that bag's okay well this bag has kind of served its purpose i guess wow yeah so this is one of them one of the limb cube mix-up series uh they had some some like the original mix-up were a lot of fun the wood eaten ones and i'm sure we'll find them in here well in one of these bins boxes but yeah these were these were great they they um, turned well and uh, and a lot of fun to, to work these out so this is so the start of a really nice series okay i'm going to throw that one away that bag it bit the dust okay Oh, this is my square two. Ah, the square one, the square two is one of those. I it, there's a lot of memorization. I really have a hard time with these. Um, you know, when when I sit down and memorize it, it's fine. But I really have a hard time uh, with uh, puzzles that have so much memorization and the uh, the the algebra, the puzzle notation for them is really hard. So, anyway, I still like them, but not not really my favorite series. Okay, ah, uh, all right. This, if I was making a list of top ten favorite puzzles, uh, the Crazy Comet would certainly be on that list. Just a just a great puzzle, and uh, uh, Crazy Comet. Uh, this is the Oscar and Landland Land version. Kind of, I think Landland Land started making them, and then Oscar. Uh, kind of <laughs> had to get them to put his name on it. Okay. Um, lattice cube. Uh, yeah, Calvin and um, and uh, Greg War Fenning. So yeah, a lot of a lot of fun with this. I don't know if I've ever made a tutorial on it, but anyway. Um, there's, there's quite a nice series of those. Oh, 
Okay, more more of these. Okay, so just in in the interest of of time, I'm just gonna leave this uh, wrapped up here. Actually, I'll just put it out here. Oh yes, lovely uh, cuboid. And I'm not sure which one this is. I'll actually be able to tell if I open uh, some more. Um, I just, I got a uh, package one time from one of the puzzle shops and it just had a DIY cuboid in it. <laughs> just sort of out of the blue. So and that might have, that might have been the one. Okay, another. Okay, this is one of the this is one of the old old school mix up puzzles. Yeah, this could be one of the old school um, mix up puzzles. And I have a whole series on those. Those are some of the earliest ones I did on my channel. Uh, and yeah, they were. I I, th I was using a very tiny uh, little tiny point and shoot camera to film, so I had to do it in uh, in a whole bunch of parts. Also had lousy internet. I had to uh, upload it in in like different parts. Yeah, so another another one of the uh, mix up series, the new mix up series from uh, Limb Cube Funs Puzzle. So the the newspaper is is slightly abrasive, and um, so that's why I put everything in a plastic bag to protect the stickers uh, from the long drive. Okay, so I, uh, a hex, hexaminx, a cubic megaminx. Um, very, very neat. And just such a blast to solve something like this. Really have to get your, get your head around, around it. And then the, Okay, um, one of the master, could this be like a master, oops, uh, master scoop or something? Yeah, MF8. Okay, yeah, I remember solving these. I don't know if I've done a tutorial on it, but definitely lots of, lots of fun. Okay, what do I got here? Oh, old, um, Oh yeah. Okay, this is my the old. Um, oh, what is this? Uh, cube twist. Yeah, this is the old cube twist. Um, it's for making uh, ver um, bandage cubes, variants of bandage cubes, and it had a kit. And I actually have a. Oh, here it is. <laughs> With all of the different parts for it, so these these pieces all come off. And then you can uh, you can have different uh, different bandages on a face, right? Different thing, and just to make it easier to take the uh, take the faces off, I I, uh, I filed a little notch in uh, in each of these, just to make it easier to kind of get my uh, tool or finger under there. Yeah, so that was my cube tip cube twist bandaged uh, puzzle. Of course, it, it cuts down on the number that they can sell the variants, right? But it, it's kind of efficient to buy this. I wish they'd make this for a four layer and five layer. But anyway, yes, yeah, a lot of fun. Okay, what am I going to do here with that? Okay, I'm going to stand this up on the back and if it gets knocked down, it'll be, uh, it'll be loud. Okay, uh, you know, this is one of the simple uh, joys of collecting puzzles for me. Things like this, which is a pink heart, uh, three by three shape mod. Um, just, just a fun little puzzle to solve. Uh, a little harder than it looks because, because it has uh, identical pieces. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just, just fun. 
to have something like that. And so there'll probably be a few of those, I guess. A little shape mod. Okay. okay. Okay, and we just have a, uh, we have a Diane, right? Little puzzle. I think it's, uh, I think it's a little smaller. I don't have a measuring uh, tape nearby, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's a little smaller than a typical three by three, right? Oh, this, this will be the same. Yeah, just, just a little smaller. Okay. Always nice to have something like that in your pocket or you carry it in your bag. You want to do some puzzling, some three by three solving. Okay. Okay, so I must have uh, found my. Uh, yeah, so another three by three. It's the same size. Okay. No, must be different yeah different ones that they released over the years always good to have some three by threes okay so this is a wit eden uh four by four Ooh. yeah just wit eden four layer puzzle so just yeah. All right. Oops. Let's put that out here. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I remember this um, North Star maybe or something. Anyway, there, yeah, I was. Uh, I saw some of these. Uh, fun little puzzles uh released right so this is basically it's like a skewed variant in that um you have to turn the yeah you have to line up these a, a row of of cuts a line of cuts before you can actually uh turn the puzzle anyway um yeah i don't know if i did a if i ever did a solve or something like that on my channel but Anyway, there it is. I, I just love these little little puzzles. They're not super hard, but they're they're just fun. And kind of stretch your brain a little bit. Okay, and another cuboid. Um, this is uh, this AJ. Anyway, uh, or no, maybe not. Anyway, uh, what is it? Uh, Five by four by four cuboid. So it was always a little bit, a little bit catchy, but not, you know, it's it's not too bad. It's still solvable, right? Certainly, yeah. I remember that. A lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, another. So this is a different variant of that 4x4 that I showed you earlier. So this has, oh uh, yeah, it has, so what is it? <laughs> okay. And um, this, I, so I think what happened was we got a bunch of, uh, I ordered a bunch of puzzles for a giveaway. Uh, for my workplace, and this is one of the puzzles. I think is this is what it was. Very, very, uh, you know, inexpensive three by three, but a lot of fun. Just you know, pink, all right, pink body. Pretty sure that's one of them. We've got a bulk order of puzzles. Okay, another one of the OG Wood Eden uh, mix-up series. This was a blast. I, yeah, I spent a lot of time playing with these puzzles. And it turned, the turn is just fantastic. 
So the the witty Eden ones, the the newer ones, um, the Lem Cube ones were like a sixty degree sixty degree turn, I believe. But these ones were were just forty five degree turns. So that's what you could do with it, and, and just just really smooth. So this is the four layer variant, just the regular four layer with layer with no blocking pieces in the middle. Okay, getting. <laughs> Getting just some of the bigger puzzles at the bottom there. So I might have to reset. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a blast from the past. This is the original Wit Eden 3x3 puzzle. I spent so much time on this and I learned so much. And the funny thing is that now I would probably solve it in a slightly different way. And I've even been thinking about that. Like, would I... Would I revisit those tutorials and make one where it's um, just, you know, using using what I've learned to, and it's been about nine, nine years, maybe 10 years since I, I put tutorials on this one. Uh, yeah, so it I wouldn't completely do it differently because I still do the two step where I check for parodies and all of that. Um, but just the way I handle um, solving the, the, the swapped edges and, and centers would be uh, different because I've, I've learned a, a better more efficient it's just a mental model of the puzzle anyway the original one this this really bring, brings back some fond fond memories uh nice to see it here in my new puzzletorium and uh i think it's appropriate that we're almost at the end of this box okay so okay so this is another uh the so this was the this was the mix up plus series because it had the uh, separated edge and then uh wood eden came out with the mix up series which wasn't as as good i i just i mean they're they're functional and i but i there were some like it wasn't manufactured well there was a lot of flash inside a lot of sprues i had to take these apart and, and work on them quite a bit so um it, it works fine um it's a good puzzle but it wasn't quite as as satisfying as, as the original series. It didn't turn as well out of the box. Uh, anyway, still ha still happy to have it. Uh, let's see, this should be another one of those. Oh, this is my, uh -huh. what do I even call this one? This is just a fun puzzle. So it's a scube, but then it has like a three by three inside. So I don't know if, if you can see it, but inside there, um, yeah, so, you have this outer, oh, it's a master cube, but then inside you can see, I see if I can hold it up here. Um, you can see that there's this three by three that you also have to solve. Um, yeah, that is just, just diabolical. You have to, I, you have to peep through a window, right? And this is one of my favorite type of puzzle where you have an outer puzzle to solve. And you gotta look through a hole to solve an inner puzzle. I really like that. Okay, where are we? Okay, there are just some pretty monster puzzles left in here. All right, and uh, so this was, uh, this is another one of the Lim, um, the new um, series where, uh, yeah, so these were not, yeah, these, these were, so the, the mix up was not 90, um, 45 degrees on these. It was, it was different, like 60 degrees or something. Um, again, lots of fun little variant uh, for that. Okay, we'll put it there. And yeah, and some strangely strange colors, but yeah, some of them were gray. And... Okay, I, I shouldn't say strange colors, just different colors. Right? Kind of. Okay, and another. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, so Woody and had come out with their the OG mix-up. That's right. So they had all the different variants where you had um, like this is the standard three three by three and then but then they put a, a an E layer of uh, four layer right and then they had somewhere they were both four layers somewhere they had blocking and so yeah there were a lot of different variations of that. Pretty much every permutation you could make there. Oh yeah. It's great. Great to see those puzzles again. 
Uh, what is, oh, another three by three. Uh, another, um, so this is a colored plastic. Oh, okay, so I, I, I guess I went through a colored plastic uh, three by three phase. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna push that down. So uh, those are those are good for letting people play with them, and you know if, if they're not going to damage any stickers, and if they pop it, it doesn't hurt anything. So, oh, I had a lot of those. Okay, another. This I think is the uh, it's the OG uh, mix up cube. Uh, again, this is the re-release uh, that uh, Woody Eden did after the. Uh, the Mix Up Plus series, they came out with uh, these, and I, I think I've already said that I didn't really like that. They were really hard out of the box uh, to turn and everything. I've done a lot of work on these, going inside, cutting off all the sprues and filing down pieces, and uh, just a lot of work to get them to be usable. Uh, so they, because they were they were kind of catchy and and they pop. So anyway, still still fun. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. Running out of room, but that's okay. I'm almost okay. Just, just big puzzles left. Okay, so now we're ready to take a look at my biggest puzzles, and I, this is where. Okay, so I didn't have a uh, plastic bag big enough for this, so what it's wrapped in is uh, wax paper. <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm going to just put this box down because it's just got a couple big puzzles in it and it's, uh, oh, look at that. So this is, this is my Petamix, I think it could be, wow, fantastic. Um, these, this might be a re-sticker, uh, I'm not sure, I, there were a couple sticker companies way back in the day that were making re-stickers for these, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is fantastic. It turns really well still, and, uh, yeah, I just, I just love this, this sort of thing. I'm glad I, I have it, and I'm going to be able to find a room for it up on my shelf for sure. Okay, I uh, I kind of stopped. I know they're making bigger minxes now, the extra minx, but I just you know I got to a point where um, it might be nice to have, but it, it, it's a long slog to, to solve. So I'm just prioritizing things. Okay, so this would be a uh, let's see, this must be pet minx. This would be a Terramix, a three layers, and okay, another blast from the past. And this was the Void Tutmix, very puzzle Void Tutmix. Uh, it came with its own turning tool, which must be in another box. Um, it was a wooden turning tool. Kind of cool. You don't really need it once the puzzle's broken in. Um, it's still it's a cool thing to have uh, and a cool and innovative uh, way of of dealing with the fact that, that you don't have much surface to grip. Wow. So yeah, so this is the Void Tutminx. Uh, lots of fun uh, to solve. Not, not super, super challenging. The, the Void uh, it doesn't really do a whole pile, but uh, it just makes it look cool. Makes it look, right, like really interesting. I think. So there we go. Um, that was that was just two boxes, and that's uh, empty now. Box crash coming up. And uh, so what do we have left? I got four here and six here, so we still have uh, ten boxes. Uh, a puzzles to unbox. Um, so as you can see, it's a big job. It's a big task, um, but it is a lot of fun. Um, now, some of these I'm going to put in my shelf, and then some of them I'm going to put in their proper plastic totes. They have uh, different sizes, uh, and that was what I was missing before when I came down here. 
Okay, well, that's it for this uh, channel update. Uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Uh, I will be uh, coming out with a tutorial uh, pretty soon, and uh, you can look, look forward to that. Uh, I'm going to do something with this as well on my channel. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I, I don't have, I don't know if I can put a full a, a assembly video, but I'll definitely do a show and tell on it once it's all stickered. And uh, yeah, more and more content, as I said in my last video, second half of the year is going to be uh, a lot better for producing puzzle content from my new puzzle torium. As always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your suggestions. Let me know what you think down in the, uh, the comments. Uh, if I got some of these puzzle names wrong, I want to hear from you. And uh, what's your favorite from all of this, uh, all of this haul right now? Uh, what's your favorite puzzle? And are there any that you want to see tutorials on that I don't already have a tutorial on? Yeah, so yeah, do, do leave me some feedback. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.